go back to our circle. How do we make this generate? Okay, we have one thing. We've created a being. How do we make it generate? Is there a design that we can make that can be self-replicating? That will actually regenerate itself? In a simple allegorical sense, how does generation happen? Regeneration. Male and female ideas, right? How do we make this kind of baby? And this is what makes the hexagon and the hexagon so powerful. We think of six. This is why the number six is very powerful in capitalism. Let's draw six dots. Okay. One here. One here. We could do anything. We could mess them out for ages. And we decided this really works. It looks pretty good. Six e equally spaced dots. We draw all the combinations. That looks very nice. Nicely balanced. Uh, along the circumference of the circle. So we quantify the circle. We can measure it. Beautiful. We never understand it. Uh, th as this the the circle expands, this distance expands. Contracts likewise. I have an idea. What if we draw one, two, three, four, five, six? This line to here. This line to there. This line to there. This line to there. This line to there. And that line to there. Right? That's interesting. We have this new shape, and we call it a hexagon. Where you want to call it? Where you have it yourself? What if this shape in here can rotate independently of the circle? So we have a new concept, we have mechanics. We have the mechanics of the universe. So well, that's maybe that's how the stars move across the sky. Maybe the air is stationary and the stars move around it. Or maybe the air is the center of the universe and the universe will around that. Doesn't matter. We now have two reference points of motion. What if that story gets that? Let's have another go at something else. What if we draw this line across here, that one, badly done, and this line across here, that one. All right, that should be one line, okay? That looks a bit weird. Uh, well, what about, I've got an idea. If we draw this line here, just to play, we have, oh look, we're back to our old friend, the triangle. Look, we made a triangle, see that? Nice? We're back to the first shape we ever made, a triangle, <coughs> right? We couldn't do an awful lot with that. Let's get in the girlfriend. We draw a second triangle. We create the, the six pointed star. Male, sorry, male, female, procreation. They're mating, they're making babies. How are they making babies? It's just a graphic. In the conjunction of the two of them, the dressing your friends down here, we have another hexagram. Hexagon, sorry. Guess what we can do in there? We can do it all over again. We can join that one to that one, and we get another star of David pentagram. And then in the center of that, another, another, and another, and another, and it goes on forever. This thing is capable of reproducing itself. This is this, this is making me understand how life goes on, how things regenerate. We have dualistic forces of male and female. The male and female forces are def different. We have the plus and minus, and the minus and plus of electronics. We have the photon and the neutron. You understand? What do they, they? You cannot have an electrical circuit that doesn't work without a positive end and a negative end at the power source. So the electrons will fly through it. And so you need duality. You need so the whole concept of the jewels right here, the the yin and yang. That was another version of this. And this is how people began to express things. So if they were plant, and so you say, well, what use is this to me in my life? Well, it's now in my subconscious mind. I can now identify this idea for creating problems, solving problems. So a problem, I can tackle it by sending a blank sheet of paper. How do I understand the problem? That's when you draw the circle. I see what the potentials are inside it. Drawing triangles, drawing hexagons, and getting all terms of the problem. I'm talking metaphor, allegory. And then I can find a way to a solution to the problem. 
to eventually work. That's why this is the most powerful magical symbol ever invented. And that's why it's been adopted by so many powerful institutions, <coughs> the Museum Churches. Because it helps the, the human mind, when it sees this, it remembers something from the ancient past. It's, you're told something about the very, this is why the state of Israel is so incredibly powerful. Because they, they, they're geniuses, really, because they understand the power of these.